What up players, Wobos Tay up in this mud. Today I'm doing a little video because I had a lot of people asking me about what kind of primer I use or how do I how do I prime my miniatures. So I thought I'd do a little video just to show you some of the ones that I have in my collection that might help you as a new or even experienced painter looking for a different brand and um, just these are what my thoughts are on them. So Army Painter has some great black, white and I think grey colors. They're really great at priming. Um, they have a nice matte finish, so not shiny. I don't really like the glossy finish that the uh, Games Workshop Chaos Black has. Um, I, I, I much prefer them to be matte so that you can see all the details and you can add your own highlights to the model without having to worry about the glossy finish. And this particular color I use for my Blood Angels, it's called Dragon Red. It's uh, it's a great base and it's a medium color red that you can build up the lights for the highlights and the shading really nicely but I've also got a blue can that I used for back when I did my Dire Avengers for my Eldar project a long time ago. So a lot of different colors they come out with. P3 Primer, they mainly come out with black and white or at least those are the ones that they sell at my hobby store. I'm not sure if they come out with gray or any of the other colors but if you want a simple matte primer then this is a great one to use and um, it's by P3 so it's it's from just like Army Painter a company that's specifically trying to market to miniature painters out there so that's also a very good one to use the last one that I use most regularly now is this they sell it at my hobby store but I think it's useful for or I think it's mainly for Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what the um, what the main use for these primers are. I know I used to buy from a company called Krylon, who makes um, primers specifically for for automobiles. Like you, you pick them up in Walmart under the under the automo automobile section for fixing up your car and stuff, right next to the engine oil. And my some mates at my hobby store were like, "Oh yeah, just go to Walmart into the into the car section." and get this stuff from this company called Krylon but uh, they started selling this at my modeling store, my hobby store now. It's a grey primer from Duplicolor. It has a great matte finish and this, let's see if we could find a model that I primed recently. Here my skeleton standard bearer. I'm gonna show you compared to a non-primed model just so you can see what the difference is. This is uh, Games Workshop Grave Guard Champion and you can see it's right off the sprue and the gray for this skeleton champion doesn't look too different so you're gonna have to really make sure that you get your entire model sprayed and um, that, that, that it's not the original bare plastic color because the paint will stick much better to the primer than if you don't prime it. And I'll also show you, because I have it, I used my P3 primer to paint this Skaven War Machine. And, let's see if I can find my Eldar Farseer. I used my, I used some P3 white primer for this guy. Okay, so what's the point of using a primer? Well, the point is that the primer really sticks to the material of the model and creates a coat that your paint will adhere to and stick to. If you don't use a primer, I remember when I first started in the model back when I was in middle school, I would buy the model straight out of the blister or the, I had plastic skeletons I believe for the undead army and I didn't paint them, or I didn't prime them, I just glued them together and started painting them and the, the paint wouldn't stick. So um, you get a much better finish if you prime your models, the paint will stick to it, the base coats will stick to it and um, you know it's a great way to start painting. So I definitely suggest one of these three brands and um, yeah, happy painting everybody. We'll see you in the next video.